Let's get started by taking a look at the box on the front. You've got a strip across the middle, horizontal. You've got Huawei Mate 10 Pro, like a dual camera, so we know that it's going to have that dual camera setup. Around the side, you can also see some key information before we dive into the phone itself. And that starts off with the color, Mocha Brown. So I had the Mocha Brown Huawei Mate 9, and I freaking loved it. So I'm super stoked they're bringing that one back. You've got a uh, RAM, six gigabytes ROM, 128 gigabytes. This is going to be available in two variants with either 128 gig and 6 gig um, or 64 gig, 4 gigabytes. Um, so this is the large capacity of the two. Around the back there isn't really too much of note. A couple of QR codes, you've got some printed on soy ink information, but what you really want to see is what is inside the box. So give it a shake, 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 shake. Bam. That is the brand spanking new Huawei Mate 10 Pro. 18 by 9 aspect ratio, pull it out and you can see around the back, oh shiny shiny super glossy glass, looks pretty freaking beautiful. I'm going to put that to one side, powering it up and we can take a look at the box contents while that all powers up. So pick away the top layer of cardboard and to reveal a case, amazing. So you've got to find this as shiny and pretty as this, you'll definitely want to be protecting it. Um, so it's always great when manufacturers ship their phones with cases. And it's not a hard plastic shell, it's a soft touch case, which is great because it's just going to be that bit more form fitting and that little bit better for grip as well. Might not be quite as protective, but actually, do you know what? Compared to the hard plastic shell that was around the Mate 9, which left a few areas open out, this one should leave your main. 10 Pro nicely guarded. You've also got a uh, eject tool, SIM eject tool in there. And in addition, supercharger, this supports supercharge. In certain regions, it will ship with a headphone adapter. In other regions, it won't. You can pull that out. That's a headphone to USB. So if you end up opting for the regular Mate 10, it's going to have a headphone jack. Um, this one will not. So if you need to, you can use that or you can use Bluetooth headphones. We've also got a USB to full size uh, to USB type C right there and ships with earphones as well. Kind of AirBuddy or like iPod type earphones um, in here. And I think, is that everything? That is everything. So we can put the box to one side and take a look at the thing that you have been patiently waiting for, the Mate 10 Pro itself. You've got some plastic around the back, can peel that away and put that to one side. This is such a pretty phone. It's so, so pretty. Well, always like really, really mastered glass with the Honor series of devices and they've kept that away from the Mates and the P series, their own branded devices until now. You've also got a really sweet camera setup, 1.6 aperture, f1.6 across both the 12 and 20 megapixel rear cameras. 12 megapixel camera is an RGB sensor, the 20 megapixel camera is monochrome, OIS on the 12 megapixel snapper. Four types of autofocus, yeah, really, really pretty. I'm just gonna turn it left to right a little bit more so you can see it catch the light. Okay, I'm done. Right, screen. Six inches, it's got a uh, 18 by nine aspect ratio, full HD AMOLED display. It's actually wide full HD, so it's better than regular full HD. You've got an eight megapixel camera above um, and you've got a Huawei insignia below. On the right hand side, you've got buttons. You've got a volume rocket and power button. USB-C at the base, this does have stereo speakers as well. Like with the old mates, you've got the bottom firing speaker and the top firing speaker. And in addition to that, the four microphones are on board just like with the Mate 9, so you can capture some incredibly high quality audio as well. There is no expandable storage, so uh, if you want a second SD card in, you're out of luck, but you do have two capacity variants, 64 gigs with four gigabytes of RAM or 128 gigs with six gigabytes of RAM. And up at the top is an infrared blaster, so it doubles up as a TV remote control, and we're done. What's inside? It's a Kirin 970 processor, 4,000 milliamp battery under the hood. Hopefully it lasts you a full, full day. Can't see it not doing so the Kirin 970 really is all about the AI story and it's not really something that I can convey in an unboxing video. So watch this space, full review will be coming in the next week. Hopefully in the meantime, you enjoyed this unboxing. Last thing I'll do before I shoot off is get it in the case, see how form fitting it is and 
leave you with a request. Anything you want to see on this, let me know. You guys make this channel happen. Thanks for watching.